In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this artwork using a combination of the pixel stretch and polar coordinates inside of Photoshop. But before jumping in, I just want to say thank you for all the support and feedback on the last video. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to give it a like. Now let's get started. First thing is to bring this image into the document. Next, I'm going to add a levels adjustment to bring in more contrast to the image. Once I got the levels adjusted to where I like them, I went ahead and clipped it to the layer below. Then I changed the background color to match the sky. Here I'm adding a mask to the skyline image, and with the soft brush, I'm going to blend it into the background. Next, I'm going to add a mask to the levels adjustment layer, and with the same soft brush, I'm going to bring back some of the detail on the bottom of the image. Now we're ready to start the pixel stretch. To do this, I grabbed the single row marquee tool, clicked on the image to make a selection, I copy and pasted the selection to a new layer and then brought up the transform tool by using command T on the keyboard and while holding shift on the keyboard I stretched the image up. I then took the stretch layer and set the blending mode to lighten. I then added a levels adjustment and boosted up the black. Adjusting these levels helped give this layer a more translucent light beam feel. I then repeated the same pixel stretch steps, this time selecting a different area of the city. the regular marquee tool I then masked away sections of the light beams. This helped give an appearance that the light beams were staggered through the city instead of being straight across. At this point I felt like it needed a little bit more depth so I added a third level of light beams that were a little bit closer to the foreground. And then adjusting levels, mass, and opacity to get it to somewhere I like. So now we're ready to use polar coordinates to get that spiral effect. First I selected the whole area by selecting Command A on the keyboard. Then I copy Merge with Command Shift C. Next I created a new square document and pasted in the merged image. Then I transformed the image and rotated it around to take up the whole area of the canvas. Once I got the image placed where I wanted it, I again selected all by hitting Command A and copy and paste it to a new layer. To use this effect, you go to Filter, Distort, Pull the Coordinates, and then click OK. Once everything looked good, I dragged the finished layer to the original document. And to finish it up, I tweaked some adjustments to give it a little bit more transcendence and contrast. We added another level adjustment to darken up the midtones. I used a selective color adjustment layer to tweak the blues in the image. In the last step, I went ahead and added some glow to the beams. So to do that, I made a copy of the original layer and converted it into a smart object. Then I set the blending mode to color dodge. Then I added a radial blur filter to soften up the glow. And that wraps it up. So thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line in the comments.